Good Wednesday morning, lads. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this is your KWHS News. We have several college visits this month, so you might want to jot down some dates. And remember, you need a pass to attend these visits during advisory and at lunch. Here are the remaining October visits. If you're interested in attending CSU Pueblo, their reps will be here on Thursday, October 11th. Next week on Tuesday, October 16th, we'll have the reps from Ozark Christian College, and Pikes Peak Community College will close out the month on October 30th. The Colorado Council on High School and College Relations will be here for a college fair on October 24th from 1 to 2 p.m. If you aren't sure yet what colleges are best for you, you should check out this opportunity. Check in at the Counseling Center for the details and register online. We'll be announcing the November college visits closer to the end of the month. But if you cannot wait or miss some information, check out Counseling Center calendar or go to their website. Juniors and seniors, the ACT test at WHS is right around the corner on Saturday, October 27th. If you did not get yourself registered for this date, go to the ACT.org website for other test sites, dates, costs, and registration information. Seniors, this is a huge announcement, so pay very close attention. Mark your calendar for Tuesday, October 30th, because it is the inaugural Colorado Free College Application Day. All 32 public colleges and universities in Colorado and several private institutions will waive fees for admissions applications submitted on October 30th only, so students should have complete, high-quality admissions applications ready to submit by this date. Remember, each institution will weigh fees differently, so plan ahead and read the institution's specific instructions as well as the color of free application day FAQs. Save yourself some cash. See Mr. Walker in the Counseling Center for more information. Seniors, if you missed Herf Jones last week and didn't get your order in for your class ring or cap and gown, see Ms. Abeta in the Counseling Center or go online to place your orders. And now we're throwing it to the sports desk with Spencer Walter for our Gladiator Sports Update. Since we're on a three-day week, we'll have Damon's Daily Dose next week. What's going on this week, Spencer? It is Whoosh Wednesday, Glads. Bark. I'm Spencer Walter, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. In a late breaking news alert, our Lady Glads softball team will be traveling to regionals this weekend. Because of the ranking, our ladies team squeaked in and now has a chance to make it to state. Go get them, ladies. Ladies basketball open gyms resume today from 5.30 to 7 p.m. The boys soccer team traveled to Sierra last night, and even with the colder temps and wet weather, our boys prevailed and added a W to their record. Nicely played, gentlemen. The boys take the home field tomorrow afternoon at 4 p.m. against the Mitchell Marauders. If you haven't made it to a game this season, come cheer them on as their season winds down. In volleyball news, the ladies traveled to Canyon City last night but couldn't capitalize on their sets and took a loss. Keep your heads up, ladies. Glads, the fourth annual Dig Pink Volleyball game is this Thursday against Sierra. The ladies would like for everyone to wear pink to this match to raise awareness and show support for people fighting breast cancer. The team will be collecting donations and have a special presentation before the game for a breast cancer survivor. Congratulations to Sophia Mena who won the ladies race at the Fountain Fort Carson cross country meet on Saturday with a time of 2026. 20, Way to go, Sophia. Ryan Outler took third overall with a time of 16.30. Nice work, Glads. Bark. The team is preparing for the Colorado Springs Metro League against the Palmer Terrors at Fountain Fort Carson. Tomorrow afternoon at 3 p.m. We wish them the best of luck. In Friday Night Lights, get ready for a cold one at the Air Academy High School. When our glads travel to play the Cadets at 7 p.m., you will want to plan for some extra time to get to the game because there's construction on the Air Force Academy. Good luck, fellas. You got this. Our Mighty Glad marching band had a very good Saturday when they competed at the Legend Marching Festival in Parker. The band earned a third place in their class and a very respectable fifth place overall, bumping out two other bands from the morning competition for this final placement. This coming weekend, the band heads back to Harrison High School for the Harrison Harrison Festival. Go get them. While we're talking about music, our WHS Orchestra is having a concert tonight from 7 to 8 p.m. Come out and listen for some amazing music in our new and improved auditorium. This should be a great night of music. Our forensics team has been busy preparing for their first meet of the season, and this week is their kickoff. The team will be competing at the World Schools debate at Discovery Canyon Campus tomorrow afternoon. Then on Saturday, the team is hosting a novice tournament on Saturday right here at WHS. 
Best of luck to our forensics team members. And finally, any ladies interested in joining the swim and dive team this year, the informational meeting is on October 15th at lunch in room 110. If you want to participate but cannot make it to the meeting, touch base with Miss Wickbird. That's it for your Wednesday Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Spencer Walter. Students, remember we are off on Friday, so go out and support your Gladiators teams. Now back to Corinne and Jeremiah for more news. Thanks for the update, Spencer. Hey, Glads, have you lost any of the following items? Water bottles, jackets, hoodies, hats, shoes? If so, you should come to the business office where the lost and found is starting to overflow. Unclaimed items will be donated on Friday, October 12th. Attention juniors and seniors. If you have a 3.4 or higher GPA, you're eligible for induction to the National Honor Society. You should have received an email last week with an invitation to become a member. If you did not receive an email, but you feel you meet their requirements, please stop by the library to speak with Ms. HK immediately. And now here's the lunch crew for our lunch menu for today and tomorrow. Take it away, Seth. Boy, what for lunch? I'm hungry. Happy Wednesday, everybody. I'm loving this short week. Today we're having homemade pizza. Come on down and try some. And then tomorrow is a Philly steak and cheese. See you then. Bye. Today. Oh, yeah. I can't wait for lunch today. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, please pay your lunch charges in person or go online to add money to your account. Students, if you'd like to travel to England, Scotland, and Ireland, check out the trip Miss Melton will be hosting in June of 2020. To get the details for this trip, you and your parents should attend the meeting next week on October 17th at 6.30 p.m. in room 103. See Miss Melton for details and information. Seniors, next Friday is the deadline for your senior photo and quote. Please see Miss Kennedy in room 103 for details on how to submit those for the yearbook. And if you haven't ordered your yearbook yet, order yours today in the business office, or you can go to yearbookforever.com and order online. The cost is $55 until the end of November. Finally, the Freshman Council is having a fundraiser at Chipotle on Monday, October 15th at the Southgate store from 4 to 8 p.m. Bring in your flyer and the Freshman Council will earn 30% off your food sales. See Mrs. Hines or a member of the Freshman Council to get a flyer for Monday. That's it for the Wednesday edition, Glads. I'm Corinne McAfee. Because of the student day off this week, we'll be back next Wednesday. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this was your KWHS News. Students, enjoy your three-day weekend. Teachers, you have to report on Friday at 7.30.